Hi, I'm Brandon Guy, Principal Solutions Architect for Cloud and Management here at Poly. While the dynamics of the past year has certainly changed the how and where people work, a consistent thread for all of our customers is that no matter where they sit in their return to the office journey, remote collaboration has not only increased, it will remain a part of their work strategy. Further, at Poly, we know that consistent and reliable collaboration is necessary for any meeting to be effective. At Poly, we're focused on building solutions for Microsoft Teams, which give people the freedom to work seamlessly from anywhere. With this enablement comes the conversations of effective device management. And I want to take the next few minutes to talk about how Poly is helping our customer admins scale to meet these challenges. With that, let's take a dive into Microsoft Teams and start our journey of this conversation firsthand. So now that we're in our Teams Admin Center, what we're seeing is a view of my IP phones. Within Poly, we build our devices and most of the functionality in terms of reporting is all going to live within this device widget. And so I've started on the IP phones, as I mentioned, and we can see I've got four devices that are already signed into my account. I can see kind of the username, I can see the devices, and any kind of health status. Now, obviously, this I can see that there's, a, there's some non-urgent issues that I could take action on, and I can see, oh, well, there's new firmware and from Teams Admin Center. I can go ahead and start managing that update. I could either schedule it or... Go ahead and apply that right now. Uh, likewise, if I click into a particular device, I can start to see some of the details of that. Uh, again, you can see all the different components that are running as a part of the team's solution. Uh, I start to see things like my quality of this device as well as the activity, how many meetings, how many calls were taking place. Uh, if I needed to take any sort of action, uh, I could start to download troubleshooting logs from my devices. Uh, again, I could do updates and I could start to do device reboots even. Uh, and this is remotely triggered all from the Teams Admin Center and all the functionality that's driven directly from the device. Um, likewise, for my collaboration bars, the MTR for Android, I have that same flexibility. So here I have a Studio X30. If I click into it, I start to get a little bit of the details on peripherals. So I can see I've got that Poly TC8. Uh, if I click into the health, likewise, I'm gonna see all the varying Teams applications that are running. And if I go into activity, um, what I can start to see is the call history. So if I click on this, I can see, hey, I had a Teams meeting yesterday and there were three participants within it. So I had Adele, I had the conference room hood, which is this device and conference room Rainier. And I can understand how those are deployed, uh, how those are connected and what type of modalities even if I click into the details, those all participated. And so here I can understand that this was an audio only meeting with app sharing. Uh, there wasn't any video and the quality was considered good. Um, and I can start to see the different um, durations of that call as well. Now, likewise, uh, from a security authentication mechanism, uh, we also work within the endpoint manager tool. And so here we see from an Intune management perspective, all of those same devices that we were just looking at are all connected and they're all compliant with my policies that have been defined. So uh, this is just the devices working within the larger Microsoft ecosystem, which are all a function of the Teams deployment. Uh, but here we can click in and we can start to see these devices as they apply. So if I click in on this um, conference room Baker, I can see that this was a CCX 500. Uh, I can see the user that signed it in. If I want to click into some more information, I can start to see things like when was the last time the device connected? Uh, when did it enroll? Uh, if I want to do any kind of factory reset, I can do a wipe and that triggers this action on that device and kind of removes it from my Microsoft account environment. Uh, however, across all of these tools, one of the things that we find from many of our customers is that there are still some other capabilities and visibility into their deployment that they'd like to have. And that's really when we talk about PolyLens, why our solution comes out and provides it. Uh, so with PolyLens, we're not really focused on replacing Teams Admin Center. In fact, we view Teams and PolyLens as a hybrid management solution. Uh, Teams Admin Center is always the solution for every customer. And what we do with PolyLens is actually augment and value add on top of and deliver exceeding value on top of that from a workflow where the customers need it. Uh, for customers who aren't looking for any of these additional workflows, uh, we actually don't even worry with bringing in PolyLens as a part of that conversation. But let's take a look at just a few of these use cases where customers might find relevancy and we'll, we'll talk about how our customers are leveraging PolyLens today. So at the first place I've signed in, I've used my uh, Microsoft 365 SSO. Uh, I've signed into my Contoso Electronics account. And here I'm greeted with a very simple dashboard. I've got my inventory. Uh, I get some insights and some actions that I can take action on. 
And so let's click in on my inventory and we'll, we'll take a look. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that I've actually got more devices here than I had in my Teams Admin Center. And that's because the way that we handle our recording is that we actually show all of the poly devices that belong to a customer prior to them signing in. Whereas in Teams, we're showing you the devices that have been enrolled within Intune and within the Teams account environment. And so until those devices sign in, we have no visibility. From a PolyLens perspective, when a device shows up within a customer network, we actually show that. And we're reflecting that here. I can actually see I had a CCX600 sign in. It was an old version. Uh, it booted up on the network, but it never really went anywhere. In this case, I've actually turned that device off. So I'm not reporting it on there anymore. Uh, but I still get visibility of that action happening within my environment. And likewise, I can see all the same things. I've got my conference room, Baker and Hood and Rainier, and I've got my uh, Miriam and Adele devices. And so I can see that there's some consistency in the data and a little bit of overlap from a reporting perspective. And this is just meant to be able so that they can coordinate data. Um, if I wanted to go ahead and click in, I can go into this from the uh, conference room hood and we can start to see some of the information that kind of overlaps here, right? So I, I get my device, I start to see things like my serial number, my MAC address, uh, I get that same IP address reporting. Uh, here I'm telling you that the device is running in Microsoft Teams mode. Uh, and I start to provide some location information, which is done based off of the IP address. So as the device connects into PolyLens, we start to provide some location assistance. Uh, likewise, I can start to see some things like when was the last time the device pulled its configuration, as well as what are the peripherals. So very similar from the information that we were showing within the Teams Admin Center, I'm providing that connection. Uh, where we start to augment is that when I start to plug in additional USB peripherals, devices that aren't running the Teams admin client, I actually start to list these out here as well within the PolyLens inventory. And that gives me a visibility into what's running within a room and providing that capability. Now, much like the Teams Admin Center, if I need to do functions like rebooting or factory resetting, uh, those are all available directly here within the uh, PolyLens environment. And performing a factory reset just wipes everything, but actually keeps it within my PolyLens inventory so that I can basically start at ground zero and start to build the device back up. I don't lose access to the device. I still maintain that capability. Uh, from a troubleshooting perspective, very similar. Uh, we can remotely retrieve the logs uh, and be able to pull down those logs no matter where I'm connected. Uh, from a settings perspective, uh, one of the things that we've really provide as an additional value for many of our customers is that ability to do the full device configuration. And this gets us all of our networking stack and all of the basic configuration. And let's take a look at that a little bit more uh, specifically. So here I've defined a policy going into my uh, workflow for a poly CCX 600. And one of the things that I've wanted to do is make it so that my end user doesn't have to do anything for the out of box. Now, as a part of the Microsoft Teams workflow, we actually do present a, a very streamlined out-of-box wizard. One of the things we find many of our administrators don't want to provide that experience for their users, however. They want to predefine what the admin password is. They want to define maybe the time zone based off of where the device boots up within their network. And they want to define even selecting it as Microsoft Teams so that the only thing the end user has to do is select their own end user account. So they come in, they get presented with just the Microsoft Teams login. So with our model policies, we can actually define that. So here you can see things like I've set it to be Microsoft Teams, I've set in the time zone, uh, I've automated the EULA that's required, I've defined the security so I can set what my password will be. Uh, and one of the things is that we can also predefine the version of software. So before the user even signs in and has to go through an update action, we can preload the software and get it running on the device so the user is ready to go day one and there's no admin action required because the device boots up, it's running that particular model. We know those settings are normalized and it just happens before the first sign in to Microsoft Teams ever even happens. Now, this also extends the ability where within PolyLens, we can actually localize software. One of the things that many of our customers defined is that they're worried about the bandwidth required to update all their devices at once in terms of how long it's going to take for all of these devices to update. With PolyLens, we can actually localize software and allow an administrator to download the software one time and allow all the devices locally to update. This really reduces the time and effort necessary to get devices current, and we can sync and coordinate this versioning from Microsoft Teams Admin Center so that what I provide from PolyLens matches to what we're pushing down from Teams Admin Center. So my devices still show up healthy. There's no action other than just notification that 
hey, there's a new software available. I can go and take that action in PolyLens if I want to stage that and make that a localized update. Or if I just want to push to a single device to prepare, understand the changes, I can also do that directly from my team's admin center. Now, coming back into our inventory, one of the bigger changes in terms of what we're seeing here versus what I saw in Teams Admin Center is that I actually get visibility into all my USB peripherals. So my devices that aren't running a native Teams client, my devices that are running off of the PC that are connected to Teams on that user's machine. And so here we can see things like I've got a Sync 40 or I've got my BT700 and Focus 2. Uh, this is all connected through the PolyLens desktop app. And if we click in here to my device users, we can actually start to understand that a little bit more specifically. So here I can have a list of all my end users within my domain. I can have that all based off of the Microsoft SSO. And here I've just got my Alex Wilbur defined as a one single user. And I start to get some details. So I see their, um, their account. I can see what type of device they're running on. When was the last time they were running? I start to see the version of uh, Lynn's desktop, as well as all the devices that they have connected. So I can see there's, that he's got a Focus 2, a Sync 40, and a BT700. If there were newer versions of that software available, that would be listed here. And I could click in and start to do that same sort of upgrade process using policy and really understanding what that deployment looks like for my devices. Um, this really opens up the story for our customers to understand how their employee base is functioning and working so that they understand the devices that are popular and the devices that aren't being leveraged. It also gives our users or our admins the ability to understand uh, usage patterns in case the devices are lost. We have a historical record of the last time that device showed up to help our users find and locate these USB peripherals as they go through. Thank you for your time today as we learned about Poly Solutions and how we're working collaboratively with Microsoft to help our customers accelerate and simplify the deployment of Microsoft Teams devices, making a better experience for all involved and allowing people to work seamlessly from anywhere. Thank you once again, and if you run into any questions, reach out to us at Team Microsoft at Poly. Thank you.